Hello and welcome to One More Pen. Today I'm taking a closer look at this one. Do you know what this is? I have a few Twisbys. I don't think I've reviewed any of them. This is the Twisby Diamond 580. There are some variations of this pen available. There's the, there's the 580, like this one. And then there's the AL, the aluminium. And with the aluminium version, the section is aluminium, and I think there's some other aluminium bits in there. And then there's the ALR, which I believe is a slight improvement on the AL, the aluminium version. Um, I think there's some changes to the, to the grip um, and so on. Anyway, when I looked at it, I was looking at the ALR, but I really like the transparent pen. Um, if you buy a Twisby, I think you're really buying it for exactly for the window, for the transparent part, the, uh, being able to see the ink and everything. So Twisbys for me are demonstrator pens. And so um, for me going with this version with a plastic section, we'll take a closer look in a minute, but it wasn't a compromise. It was actually a choice. I actually prefer a plastic section to a metal section in terms of um, the way it feels for me to grip anyway plus I really wanted a transparent section I really want to see what is happening um, in there uh, that's part for me of the allure of the Twisby so we'll take a closer look at this pen we'll do a writing sample oh by the way with this one I have a 1.1 stub nib um, I have another Twisby with a fine nib and I have one with a broad nib so the 1.1 stub was different and it writes it's got a very unique I think writing uh, experience that it provides I have some stub nibs on my Lamy's and I would say that there's definitely a bit of a difference between the stub on the Twisby and on the Lamy so Oh, and I have this inked up with uh, Diamine. I will tell you which color in a moment when we do the writing sample. But um, I think it, it goes rather well. Well, in, in any event, you can see that it's a dark color. Oh, what the hell? Let me tell you. This is Diamine Earl Grey. Earl Grey. I have, I have a Diamine ink. Um, it's a shimmer ink. What's it called? Sparkling Shadows, I think. It's, it's a gray ink with gold shimmer and it's a beautiful ink I absolutely love it and I've used it in both my Twisby Eco as well as my Lamy Vista and the only problem with the shimmer ink is that eventually it clogs up the pen um, but I have to say the the Twisby and the Lamy really handles the shimmer ink quite well um, I think my Lamy Vista took I think I wrote with it for two months, two or three months before it clogged up. And then it's just an easy rinse. You just rinse it out and you can ink it up again and go. And I think that's pretty good for a shimmer ink. Um, there's probably very few pens that will never clog up with a shimmer ink. So I think that's already very low maintenance um, for a shimmer ink. But I wanted another grey without the shimmer. Um, and so I got Earl Grey. I compared a few of them and I think this is a really good match. So, okay, let's take a closer look at the spin and let's do a writing sample and see what the stub nib is all about. All right, let's take a closer look at the Twisby Diamond 580. This is a demonstrator, obviously, so we are pretty much all transparent. The only part that I think is a little bit uh, there's, there's an insert in the cap that you can see is sort of a smoky finish on it. I would have loved that to be completely transparent as well, but nevertheless, this looks pretty good. Uh, on the finial, we have the Twisby logo, and it's pretty, it's really beautiful. Um, at the end of the barrel, nothing much. This is really the uh, I don't want to twist this now because this would turn the um, the piston, move the piston inside the barrel and then we would have ink everywhere. It's a twist cap 
it has a, a, a o-ring over there and that allows it to seal really well you start to feel some friction and then it can turn a fraction more and then it seals really really well the clip is nice and stiff quite nice I mean it's not nothing fancy it just works and I almost feel like when you look at it like this with the transparent cap it almost feel like the the clip does not touch um, the cap but of course it does so it creates a little illusion there and I, I kind of like it I think it's really cool we have branding on the cap Twisby and at the back it says Diamond 5A Taiwan the barrel and I, I assume that's where the diamond comes from the the um, barrel has these facets in a diamond shape and I'm not sure to what extent you'll be able to see that but it's pretty nice it gives the pen a very nice texture I also think it will um, you know scratches will not show up that easily because of that pattern so that's I think a pretty clever design and then we've got some metal here at the end of the barrel so threads are fine no, no problems there the section is um, transparent although the feed you cannot see inside the feed there which is a pity I, I love to actually see the feed so you won't really see the ink in the section I was hoping really hoping that you would but this is something I can live with it still looks really good and the metal inside um, the section there the way that it shines through it's 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 pretty nice the the section is not too too short it's not too long it flares out a little bit with this metal piece and this was quite important to me because my twist B go has quite hard pronounced edges um, which means that uh, it's not comfortable when you hold it this is pretty comfortable to hold size of the pen as well it's big enough uh, you don't need to post it if you want to post it yes it, you, you can do that but I think this makes the pen too large and back heavy so I, I wouldn't post this pen there's no need to do that the nib on this pen uh, quite beautiful twisby logo and this is a 1.1 stub so it says I think it says twisby and it says 1.1 there you go and this uh, this pen holds a considerable amount of ink it's it's certainly um, <laughs> you can use this for quite a while I, I don't know how much it ex exactly it holds but um, my guess would be probably four or five times if not more that you would you know fit into like a standard international cartridge so the build quality of the pen all in all I think is really really good although it's transparent and obviously it's it's a plastic resin um, of some kind it it feels um, really solid it doesn't feel light it doesn't feel cheap at all it feels really premium so um, there's no doubt when you pick up this pen that you are picking up a premium pen it has all the feel of a really good quality solid pen so let's do a writing sample see how this pen performs I am using Rodia dot pad as always for my writing samples for consistency and really just good pleasant paper so what I have in here by the way uh, yes I have mentioned it it is diamine all gray um, I want the gray ink without the shimmer and I think this works really well on the 1.1 stub all right
as you can see the spin is plenty wet and um, that's really lovely I mean the the ink flow in the spin is just phenomenal um, now I'm not going to try and put any flex on the spin because why would you it's a stub nib it's not meant to flex but it produces lovely variation also very smooth there is no direction in which there's any kind of scratchiness or anything like that feedback is actually quite minimal on this pen there's a little bit of feedback but it's actually exceptionally smooth I have to add that I think there are a few places where the pen appears a little bit on the dry side but I think that it is my writing angle for the purpose of this video that causes that generally this pen is actually quite wet the ink I think matches very nicely with this pen I think the Earl Grey was a really good choice um, the nib is plenty wet, I have to say. It's, uh, there's really nothing I can complain about. So, what more can I say about this pen? It's not the cheapest pen, but it's also not the most expensive one. The Diamond 580 ALR is a little bit more expensive than this one. I actually think this one is um, a really good in-between choice to go for and in the end I'm really happy that I didn't go for the LR because I, I really like the way that this one looks um, I think the LR is nice too I, I wouldn't mind having an LR but I do prefer the look of this one and I know on the LR you have a slightly uh, can I say ripped texture on the section which I'm pretty sure I'm not going to appreciate. I don't like my section to be textured or to have facets in it or anything like that. Just a smooth round section is what I need. So this is really perfect for me. Um, bold quality, excellent. Aesthetics, really, really good. Writing experience, uh, quite brilliant. And... Um, it's nice to just see the ink sloshing around inside there. Right, so yes, excellent pen. I would absolutely recommend this one. Um, if you like my content, please like and subscribe. I always appreciate the support. Let me know though in the comments if you have one of these or an ALR and your preference and why. And uh, I will see you next time.